What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Miss by Sean. Yours truly, man. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all I'm back consistent. I'm dropping every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to drop every day, even though I got my miss class going on. So I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, balance the two. But I be on my miss class way more than here. So, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine, you know what I'm saying, all the information I'm putting out over there. So make sure y'all hit the number up, man. Tap in. Come join the miss class. Make sure you purchase my recording template. Um, I did an update a lot of people I noticed a lot of people having problems that's what this video gonna be on a lot of people having problems with um, making the two track making the vocals and stuff sit in the two track okay so the problem with two tracks is the problem with two tracks is that it's too much bass <clears throat> you know what I'm saying or like the problem so I make beats too so when people make beats, they want their beats to hit hard. So they put limiters, soft clippers, uh, man, compressors, everything. You know what I'm saying? They just they just want to make it loud. That's the whole key. So the producer not really thinking, oh, let me leave a little headroom for the vocalist. You know what I'm saying? They just want their stuff to hit hard. And that's what we like. You know what I'm saying? When you hear that bass, that loudness, it make it sound good. But you know what I'm saying? It can trick you. So... My job as an audio engineer is to make it sound as good as possible with what I got, what I'm working with. So if I'm working with an artist and I'm just recording, we just, you know, they're trying to be fast. They always use two tracks. I don't even record stems like that. Like, unless I'm working on a project that I'm mixing, then I do stems. But like in the studio when I'm just recording, it's strictly two tracks. You know what I'm saying? So, your boy Miss by Sean... I came up with this, um, I feel like dope, like it's real deal helpful, you know what I'm saying? This should help y'all right here. I'm basically turning the two track into a mini stem version. So how I did that is EQ. EQing is so, so, so important. If you know your frequencies, you know what I'm saying? I promise you'll be okay. So the sub is from like 100 hertz. That's what I set my thing to. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to break it down to y'all. So my sub track, I got it on 120, the maximum that it'll go to, that EQ. But, you know, that's the sub, the low end. Then I came to, I don't even move this over here. My bad. I got it backwards. And then the low mids, you know what I'm saying, from 100 hertz. To like the 500 and then the um, mids I got it from 500 to like 5k range and then the high end from 1k and up and that's the maximum that it go to that it let me I don't know it ain't it can go a little bit more okay cool so like with this man it makes you you can be in much more control so let's let's come to this track Let's come to the stereo. Let's make an ox. So when you make an ox, you call this, you call this, uh, I'm gonna just call it two bus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just call it two bus. I like to put my two bus on top of everything. So let's route it out. Bus one and two, I'm gonna call it two bus shine beat just name it whatever you want to and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna route everything into the two bus okay let me go back so now everything is being sent to the two bus so, let me come here to this, change the output. So, this is how, this is my beat. I produced it a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I really don't like, well, it was cool, but, you know, I just feel like it's too plain. So, I used it for this video. But, you know what I'm saying? If y'all like a beat or something, just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. I do make beats, too. You know. Hey, Sean, it's just slamming.
as you can see, man, I didn't miss that beat or anything. You know, I was just making a beat. So when I'm making a beat, I don't have time to like, try to, you know, I'm going to just do it in the production side because I knew I got the stems and stuff like that. But I'm just doing this like I didn't have the stems. So what you want to do is you want to duplicate all these tracks. Hold on. You want to duplicate on every track. You want to mute mute the uh, actual two track. Matter of fact, let's make this small. We're going to make that, get that out of there. So your stuff should look like this. You got four four different audios. So I'm going to mute. I'm a mute. Make sure you listen into um in headphones or studio monitors, man. So far you can hear the subs and stuff like that, what I'm doing. So this is the bass. That sound really good, but wait till it just keep watching. I'm gonna show you how I make that better. And you can mix it like just stay tuned. Just please stay. Keep watching. Keep watching. Stay with me. Okay, here we go. The low mids. And everybody got their own way to do everything. So it's never a wrong way, man. That's the low mids. I might just round it off just a little bit more. But I don't want that to collapse with the 808. You know what I'm saying? This the mids right here. This was the main problem is in the car and all that. Okay, that was the mids, and then here go the crystal clear high end. Okay, so let's get to, I'm finna show y'all how to make that 808 better. So, the first thing I'm gonna do, we gonna go on and get straight into it. I'm gonna come to it here a Saturn knob or something like that. This is my favorite plugin right here. It's just coming handy. I just love it. If it load up. Okay, here we go. It loads up. This just make your 808 knock, man. You want them rattling at 808s? This is how you get that. So that's how I get that rattling 808, man. Um, uh, on the low mid, I like to come here to like a, uh, let's see what I want to use on this one. I'm going to use a pull tick. But I don't want it to sound like an 808 so let's play without it you know what i'm saying now you actually hear it coming out and don't be scared to crank this thing man like don't be scared to crank it don't be scared to crank it. you know what i'm saying that's the point you want to these plugins you got to drive these plugins to really get that effect because the real analog gear you just you know what i'm saying just a tab and it's you know what i'm saying knocking but these plugins, you gotta really drive it. For the mids, man, I'm gonna come here to a. Um, let's see. Yeah, mids, mids. What's good for mids? Like, I need. I just used it. Okay, well, let's use. That's to be the hardest thing. When I got all these plugins I bought, it's just like, I don't know what I'd be wanting to use. But. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use this for the mids. That's 
just the mids. Okay, let's go to the highs. And the high end, I'm gonna use like a uh, API. I love API for high end. I don't, it's just perfect. Like I said, man, don't don't be scared to drive it. So let's play it all together. But now, but now I'm finna show y'all on my uh two bus. I like to come here, and I add a uh, SSL SSL compressor. Take turn all the makeup gain off. Turn the uh, attack on like ten, and then I have. The threshold with the pin and on how it sounds. So let's play it. You know what I'm saying? So now. I know y'all thinking like, man, it's too harsh. Or, you know what I'm saying? I heard it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with you. I agree. So now what I do is I use the faders, man, to blend everything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm going to turn heat on because I loved it. I'm going to turn the tone all the way up. Okay? So, like I said, man. Matter of fact, let me show you real quick. Turn it off. Let's get this track out of there so I can um, actually focus on what's going on okay so this is the sub let's blend it. Sound much better, like I can rap on it. Yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to be creative, you can come here and add a little verb to the little hi hats because I didn't add it in the actual beat. You see what I'm saying? That's how I level everything out. And then I come here. You know what I'm saying? I love the L2, man. I just love it. It adds like a a distortion, but like a good distortion. Like I'm finna show y'all. check my levels like like i said man this just give you more control like if you're using the youtube beat this give you way more control than adding a center plug-in or um smack attack you know what i'm saying i still use a smack attack because the transients and stuff like that is good but this is how you really control it you know what i'm saying um what i was gonna do see i be moving so fast i didn't forget what i was gonna do oh okay 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 cool i know what i was gonna do sound field and I was just trying to see how loud it is you know what I'm saying that's perfect negative 12 negative 11 that's perfect but if I had vocals in here all I have to do man is just pull it down you know what I'm saying just pull it pull the levels down a little bit you see how it went down
See what I'm saying? That sound good, man. Say I don't wanna hear nobody. And you the one who's on the side. I say you the one you the one. It sounds so good, it make you want to put some lyrics on it. And like I said, man, this just a quick video. You know what I'm saying? This just to be quick. Now, if I was actually mixing, I would actually, you know, probably use different plugins and stuff like that. These are my favorite plugins to be quick. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have a vocal chain in my head. Certain plugins I use when I'm trying to be quick and fast. That's low on CPU, and I have heavy processing plugins too that I use as well, man. So. I hope I was helpful, man. You know what I'm saying? This is how you get more control of a two-track. You know what I'm saying? This this is really how you get the most out of a two-track. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, it's good to have stems, man. If you can get the stems, get the stems. It'll be way better. But, you know, if you just got a two-track, you just want to rap on a beat on YouTube, do this right here. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, this your boy, Miss by Sean. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me play this beat. I'm going to play it back, and I'm in this video, man. I'm out. Gang, gang. Hope y'all be safe out there. And like I said, come tap into the mix class if you really want to learn. And purchase my recording template, all of this in there. Just tap in with me. I saw it just slamming. Yeah, man, hope y'all enjoy it, man. This your boy, Miss Bashan. Can't get y'all the whole beat. Like I said, this is an old beat, though, I made. This when I first started making beats. So don't judge my beat, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I hope I was helpful to all the audio engineers or producers or artists that's recording themselves in the bedroom. You know, that's who I do it for. Thank y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be no me, man. So let's just hit that 1K. Make sure you like, subscribe, man. It really helped me. And it, you know what I'm saying? Helps me. It motivates me to keep going with this, you know what I'm saying, on this channel. So, like I said, man, I've been, I've been doing this for a long little time. Trial and error. Um, went to school for it. Self-taught as well. So, like I said, man, I just, you know what I'm saying, with trial and error, man, I learned a lot of stuff every day. So, every day, you know, I'm never satisfied. I'm trying to always get better. I'm always pushing myself. I'm always staying up. I'd have been up, well, not no more, but... I done stayed up three days in a row. You know what I'm saying? I only got two hours of sleep. I'm right back at it. You know what I'm saying? This your boy, Mitch Bashan, man. Like I said, yours truly. Hit me up for services. Hit that number if you want my recording template. Your boy, Mitch Bashan, man. I'm out. Gang, gang.